So this is the Iceco VL45 Pro S. Full disclosure, it was sent to me by Iceco. I didn't have to pay anything for this, um, but I promise I will give you my completely upfront and honest review of it. Um, I will say, just right off the bat, I highly recommend this fridge. I think it's, uh, I think it's great value. I have loved using it so far. Um, it's, it's really great. It's super durable. Um, I love the versatility of it. I don't know why, but this, uh, this lid is just the best thing. Um, and it's super efficient. This, I took this from 70 to 32 degrees in 55 minutes and it's cooling right now um, and it's power draw is 36 watts um, so if, if that's all you're looking for I highly recommend this if you do choose to get it use my discount code it'll get you 12% off and it's already at $700 which I think is is a good price anyways so OTG 12 will get you 12% off uh, this fridge so let's get deeper into it so I don't want to go super crazy in this review and read a spec list to you. Um, I will provide a link to uh, the webpage for this specifically so you can see all the specs from them, uh, from ISCO themselves. But that's not how I want to do this review. I want to talk through what I've liked about it um, in my use and, and things I think could be improved. Um, but let's start with what I like about it. The First thing that really drew me to um, to this fridge specifically is how rugged it is. Everything is reinforced with steel around around the edges. Um, it looks robust and it is robust. It's a very well put together fridge. This also can operate at up to 40 degrees of incline, which um, which I tried to test. Um, I got it to about 25 degrees. That was the steepest hill I could find, and it was it worked perfectly fine. It also handles being off-road amazingly. It was the first time I took it out. It was sliding around in my back seat, hitting the door, hitting um, you know, kind of bouncing around in the back seat of my seat, just bouncing around in the cab, and it never skipped a beat. It worked flawlessly the whole time. I really enjoyed how rugged this thing is and I think it will um, you know hold up to all the abuse of this has been in the bed of my truck when I've been on the trails for hours on on bumpy roads I've done a little bit of like more hardcore core off-roading with it and it's been it's been perfectly fine um, I also unintentionally uh, poured a ton of water on this uh, it was in the bed of my truck and um, it had rained, so water pools on my rooftop tent. I started driving away, and all the water that was on the rooftop tent poured off and directly onto this. No problems. Iceco says this is weather resistant, um, and I unintentionally tested that, and it held up. It held up great. No issues with it whatsoever, and I promise you, this got soaked with water. So I've really liked how how rugged and durable it is. That's the, that's the first thing I really noticed about this. The second thing is how quiet it is. It's unbelievably quiet, I'm shocked. It has the SACOP compressor on it. It's supposed to be a really good compressor. I'm not gonna act like I know all of those things really well, but from what I've heard, that's like, was the golden standard for a very long time and it, and it still is a very high performing uh, compressor. If you can hear a hum right now, it's not this, it's the solar generator that I have because that thing is noisier than this fridge. It works really, I, I love how quiet this fridge is. Which brings me kind of to the next thing is efficiency because a lot of that has to do with the compressor. Um, when I first got this, I turned this on and it had nothing in it, granted. This went from 70 degrees to 32 degrees in 55 minutes. If I had stuff in it, it probably would have taken a bit longer. Um, I also had it plugged in in my house, not the car outlet um, or the cigarette lighter right in my car. Um, 
but I was super impressed at how quickly this cooled down. Um, when it's on, it also draws very little. They say on average it'll pull 60 watts. In my experience, this pulls between 36 and 45 watts. Um, um, ergonomics, I really like these handles. Um, they're they're super strong. They have a really nice texture to them. They have a pretty good grip to it without like really digging into your skin. Um, these, I actually didn't like these handles at first because you have to push down and then pull up, which I thought was a little annoying at first, but I actually really like it. Um, there's no accidentally opening this thing, which is, I actually really like the design um, on that. Also, the fact that you can open it both ways is a huge plus. It's, it's awesome. I really like the display. It's super simple to use. Um, everything's really self-explanatory. Um, easy to adjust. Uh, easy to adjust the temperature. Easy to turn on. Easy to switch between eco and max mode. Um, the display is excellent. And, um, and that's water resistant as well. And which I definitely accidentally got a ton of water on that as well, and it's it's fine. So there's a lot to like about this fridge. Um, another thing is the price point. At the time I'm filming this, it's seven hundred dollars, which I think an excellent price point for this. I think seven hundred dollars for this fridge is amazing, especially because you can use my code OTG12 to get twelve percent off of that. So I think this is exceptional value. Um, for what it offers at the price point it offers it at. Another thing I love about this is the actual, the storage um, compartment. You have a nice little wire cage that you can pull out and get to all your stuff. Um, from here to here, you have a, a deeper portion. And then on this side, you have kind of a, a shelf over here underneath Underneath this side is where the compressor and all the electrical components sit. So right here is a good shelf for like a bunch of 12 ounce uh, cans. And then you can fit uh, you can fit a wine bottle in here. It's deep enough for that. Um, so I really like the way this is laid out and the usability of it. I think it's I think it's great. So what are some of the things I don't like about it? Some of this is gonna I'm gonna start with the really nitpicky things. The covers for the power cords, um, they don't stay in well. I'm always having to push them back in, which is really annoying. I can almost guarantee you I'm going to lose that at some point, and then they're just going to be um, they're just going to be exposed, which they're going to get dirt in them. They can get water in them, and I may have issues with it in the future because of that. So I don't like. I think they could have done better on that. I also would have expected um, a better seal on the lid, and this sounds like this sounds like a worse thing than it actually is. This is your seal right here. It's not deep at all, so it doesn't like really suck down and, and close tightly. Um, it's really, really well insulated in the fridge itself. This is well insulated. I think the seal though is the real weak point of this whole system, especially when you combine that with the latch system. The latch system is great. Um, as far as ease of use, you can get in, uh, get in it quickly, it closes quickly, you don't have to worry about it. But on other models, uh, the standard VL series, for example, has a latch system so where you can like snug this down and it seals really really well. Um, I think they could have done a little bit better on this especially because it's supposed to be the, the Pro Series um, and because of that I've noticed that it doesn't hold in the cool super well. It, it holds in the cool temps pretty well. I think it warms up quicker than it than it probably should for for the pro model of their series. A couple caveats I want to throw in there. Um, I've never filled this thing out, like I've never had it packed 
when I've used it, I've either had just enough stuff for breakfast or enough stuff for breakfast and dinner. Um, the contents of a fridge is a big, um, a big component in how long it's going to stay cool because that kind of acts as um, cooling as well. Uh, so it could perform a lot better if it were packed uh, more full, but I just haven't had a use to like really pack it that much. So, um, so that's one thing. Second thing, um, it may not hold the heat very well, but it's incredibly efficient and it'll cool back down very, very quickly. So should you run into issues, shut the car off for a little bit and then it's, it's not running off the battery or you run out of uh, energy in your solar station and you need to charge that back up, um, it'll maintain the cool long enough for you to get to a point where you can recharge the solar generator or um, turn your car back on or something like that. So it's, it's not a, it's not a big, it's not big enough of a deal to where I would look elsewhere. I think this is perfectly fine. I wish they had a wrap. They don't offer a wrap for this one yet. Maybe that's coming in the future because um, that would help even more. But um, those are the two things that I found in, in my use of it that I just, I think they could have improved upon a little bit. So to summarize, um, I truly do think that this is a really good option um, for someone trying to get a fridge. There are much, much cheaper options, which I've heard good things about. There are much more expensive options. The Dometic springs to mind. The equivalent Dometic uh, CFX345, I've seen anywhere from $1,000 to $1,200. Um, so this undercuts that price by quite a bit and I, I think that provides even more value to this one. I've heard of, obviously the Dometic's awesome, but um, you would be crazy not to at least consider this when you're looking at a portable refrigerator. I highly recommend it. I'm going to use the crap out of this this summer, and I think it's going to take it because it's extremely rugged. Um, and thank you to Iceco again for sending this out to me. I've been super impressed so far, um, and I'm excited to use it more. So I hope this review helped. I know I didn't spit a bunch of specs um, because I don't think that's entirely useful. Uh, instead, I wanted to share like kind of my experience and, and use of it so far. Um, so I hope that was helpful. If this is something you decide to do, definitely use my code because it'll get you 12% off this fridge. Actually, anything at Iceco that's over $300, I can get you 12% off. So use my code if you shop Iceco. Um, and yeah, I, I really don't think you'd be disappointed with this fridge. It's awesome. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.